Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's understand 4 to 2 priority encoder and how the priority encoding will be done with respect to 4 inputs and 2 outputs. You can see the block diagram here. We have I0, I1, I2, I3 as inputs and Y0, Y1 are outputs. This priority encoder will be having highest priority for I3 and lowest priority for I0. It means when there is a value present in I3, irrespective of I0, I1, I2 values, Y0, Y1 will be encoded to 11. Look at the truth table now. There is a valid signal here. This valid signal indicates the encoding is valid. When I3, I2, I1, I0 are zeros, it means it is an invalid encoding. That's why output is zero and valid signal is zero and output can be don't care. When I3 is equal to one, the lower priority inputs I2, I1, I0 can be taken as don't care. Why? Because even if these are one or zero, it will not matters. So when I3 is the highest priority, when I3 is equal to one, the encoded output will be one one. And then when I2 is equal to one, we are supposed to encode means I3 should be zero. If I3 becomes one, it will automatically encode to one one itself. So when I3 is zero and the next highest priority is for I2, that's why the lower bits after I2 can be don't care and it will be encoded to one zero. This is also a valid encoding. That's why the valid signal is one. When I1 is one and I2, I3 are zero, this priority will be encoding to zero one and this is also valid. And when I0 is equal to one and other lower prior highest priorities are zero, then it will be encoded to zero zero. This is also valid. This is how the priority scheme will be executed. And for this, if you write the expression, V will be one 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 when I3 is equal to one, I2 is equal to one, I0 is equal to one and I1 is equal to one. When all these things are 1, the valid signal is 1. That's why I0 plus I1 plus I2 plus I3 is the expression for V. Similarly, if you get the expression for Y1, what is Y1 here? Y1 is 1 in these two cases. At this time, we have I3 is equal to 1 and then I3 is equal to 0, I2 is equal to 1. So it is I3 plus I3 bar into I2. So we can simplify this expression using the standard formula a plus a bar b can be written as a plus b. So here also i3 plus i3 bar into i2 can be written as i3 plus i2. This is the simplest ex expression for y1. Similarly for y0 if you see here we have 1 and here we have 1. At these cases what are all the inputs i3 plus i3 bar, i2 bar and i1. So here also we can apply the same rule i3 plus i3 bar is there. So we will be getting i3 only i3 plus i2 bar into i1 is the final expression. Now let us implement this using basic gates. If we implement this is the logical circuit we are going to get. V that is the valid signal will be having i0, i1, i2, i3. So I have taken i0, i1, i2, i3 to R gate. This gives V. Similarly y1 and y0 to be implemented i3 plus i2. So this is i3, this is i2, one R gate gives y1 and then y0 will be having i3 plus i2 bar into i1. So i2 bar is taken, i1 is taken and AND gate output will be given to a next R gate where i3 comes. i3 and the output of this will be taken to R gate, this gives y0. So this is the logic gate implementation or the 4 to 2 priority encoder logic circuit by taking the priority to I3, highest priority and lowest priority to I0 and also we are generating the valid signal. Thank you.